What is up, my friends? Today, we're going to be naming benzene derivatives. That's right, benzene derivatives. That means molecules are derived from benzene, which in this case, we're going to be looking at aniline, toluene, and phenol. Three different molecules that all contain a benzene ring and something a little special. So aniline, whenever you see the word aniline, we're talking about a benzene ring with this NH2 on it. So aniline just means a benzene ring with an NH2. Meanwhile, toluene, which is the hardest one to say, say it with me, toluene, toluene, yes, toluene, that's this guy. It has a methyl group up top, so we haven't written the CH3, but you could. Uh, for that reason, this is, this is for whatever reason the most commonly missed one. People will always call it methyl benzene. Never, ever, 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 ever write methyl benzene. It's just wrong. You have to call it toluene, okay? Lastly, we got phenol, and phenol has that OH group up top. That one's kind of easy to remember because OL is an alcohol ending. Um, and so whenever you have OL, you have an alcohol and phenol is just a benzene ring with an alcohol group on it. All right, you got to memorize these. So you just have to memorize that's aniline, toluene, and phenol. And you have to train your mind to see those. So when you're naming a bunch of different compounds and these are mixed in, you immediately will say, oh, there's an NH2 there. I know that's aniline. Let's talk about the rules for naming these bad boys. All right, the base names are named based on the special group. No surprise there. So if you see NH2, you got aniline. CH3 hanging off, you got toluene. And OH, you got phenol. The special group is always assigned as the first carbon. So that means NH2 would be the first carbon in aniline. CH3 would be that on that first carbon in toluene. And OH would be on that first carbon in phenol. In other words, when we think about our ortho, meta, and para numbering, that R group is always going to be our special group, whether that's NH2, CH3, or OH. Two substituent rings in containing aniline, toluene, and phenol also use our ortho, meta, and para positioning. And remember, a good trick for memorizing that is to write ROMP. R being our special group at the first carbon, and O is the ortho position at the second carbon, meta is our meta position at the third carbon, and para is at the fourth carbon. All right, so now we're just going to jump into some practice. These guys, two separate compounds, let's name them. First of all, we need to identify which type of base special benzene derivative these are. Notice in our compound on the left there, we see NH2, which means that we got ourselves an aniline. Okay, so we know we have aniline, that's gonna be our base name. We could go ahead and write that if we want. So we can put aniline. And then we see that there's a chlorine substituent. And we know it's at the second carbon. Remember that our aniline, our special group on aniline, the NH2 gets number one, and chlorine's gonna get number two. So we could call this 2-chloro-aniline. Totally legit, good name. Now, if you want, you could also use ortho in this case because we have a, a group at the first and second position. So another totally good name for this would be ortho-chloro-aniline. Two legit names, same compound. All right, on the right here, we have one that people miss all the time. They just, for some reason, because this is just carbon, we just miss it. But remember, that's a special methyl group hanging off of our benzene ring. It makes it toluene. That means that's gonna be number one. So we have toluene. If you started to name this and you ever put methyl benzene, then you know that's wrong. Don't ever, ever write methyl benzene totally wrong. Cool, good chat, don't write it. So we do know that we're gonna have the base name of toluene. So we'll put toluene because we have our CH3 group hanging there off the benzene ring. And now we gotta number it. That's gonna be one because it's our special group. So again, you know, you might get confused there because you're like, hey, bromine comes first in the alphabet, but the special groups just take priority. And now obviously we're gonna number, wanna number this counterclockwise because that gives that bromine the two. Notice if we went this direction, we would give our first bromine a three. So naming, numbering it counterclockwise is best. And now we have two bromo group, groups at the two and the five. So we're gonna name this two comma five dibromo toluene. Now we couldn't use any of our special names here. We can't use ortho, meta, or para because we have three substituents. Ortho, meta, and para only work with two substituents. All right, next up is a very fun compound. Look at all these crazy NO2 groups hanging off. What are we gonna name this thing? Well, we're gonna follow the same exact rules. We're gonna try to spot what special group is here. And we'll notice, again, we have a CH3. This is a toluene. So we're gonna put toluene way over here at the end and leave ourselves a little room. Now, maybe you've never seen NO2 groups before. That's another substituent. They're called nitro groups. So we have one, two, three nitro groups. And we remember that our special group, the CH3, gets our one. And it actually doesn't matter which direction we number it in this case, we'll get the same thing. Oops, except for that's totally false. 
In any case, we're going to get that we have nitro groups at 2, 4, and 6. If we numbered it the other direction, same thing, we get 2, 4, and 6. So when we name this, we have nitro groups, three of them, at 2, 4, and 6. So this is going to become 2, comma 4, comma 6, tri nitro toluene. Oh, snap. You know what's really fun about this compound and the reason I chose to name it? 2, 4, 6, tri nitro toluene has T in T. That's right. This compound right here is what we call TNT. You can see why people call it TNT instead of 246 trinitrotoluene. TNT, a little more brief. This guy's really explosive because it turns out these nitro groups contain tons and tons of energy. And if you uh, go ahead and combust this guy, it decomposes and releases all of its energy, releases enormous amounts of energy. So these nitro groups are the secret to the explosive nature of our TNT dynamite. All right, one last set of practice problems here. We're gonna draw each of our rings. Notice here we have our meta, ortha, and para stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and write out our little key. We want to use our romp key. Remember that that goes with one, two, three, and four. All right, so meta, nitro, phenol. So phenol has our OH group up top. So we're going to go ahead and write that. We're going to put our little circle here to let everybody know that's a benzene ring. By the way, if, if you just leave this off, that's now a uh, alcohol on a cyclohexane. So that would be cyclohexanol. So really important that you either put the alternating double bonds or you put the circle. If you don't, it's actually wrong. Now, this is meta nitrophenol. So meta, recall, means that we have our next guy at our third position. So we have one, two, three. So right there, we're going to have a nitro group. Good bet this guy would also be explosive because of that nitro group. Okay, then we have ortho, fluoro, aniline. Ortho, fluoro, aniline. So ortho means we got something at the one and two position. Aniline means we have an NH2 up top. So put our little ring. We got NH2. And then ortho means at the second position, we have a fluorine. That's right there. All right, last example. Let me erase that random scribble. We're going to do three chlorotoluene. Okay, so for our last example, toluene, remember, has an CH3 group up top, a methyl group. Still going to put our ring. You know what? Just for fun, let's do the alternating double bonds this time. Just so you know, that's totally legit too. And we'll put a CH3 up here. That's at the first carbon. And then we want at the third carbon, so that's one, two, three. At the third carbon, we want our chlorine. So let's put a chlorine there. All right, so that is naming these special derivatives of benzene called phenol, aniline, and toluene.